Oh, this can time. I've been talking. Did you, know, did you happen to notice that? This candle is a clock. It's burning at the rate of one inch an hour. Now, the question I have for you is how long has it been burning? Does anyone know? Anyone want to guess? An hour and five. Did you think I lit it when, I, when we started here? Actually, I didn't. The point is, you can't know. But this is a really good clock for one reason. This clock has an upper limit. This clock could not be burning for six days. The candle can't be that long. It would fall over. This clock has an upper limit. I have to tell you that on this planet, the clocks we have, things like erosion and chemical processes in the sea, have upper limits. And those upper limits are invariably thousands of years, not millions of years. Let's look at what the American population does, in fact, believe. This is a Gallup poll. This was conducted in 82 and again in 91. The poll was repeated. The question was asked, where do you think we came from? And this is what they said. They said 44% said creation. 38% said theism, that is divinely assisted evolution. 9% said evolution as Darwin described it. So if you add these two together, that's 47 compared to 44 in creation. So it's about equally divided. The American population is about equally divided between creation and evolution. I've tested that. I speak in a lot of secular contexts. In fact, uh, next week on Tuesday at noon, I'll be at Star Mound talking to one of the Rotary Clubs in town. I do that kind of thing. And when I do that, typically I poll the audience. And when I poll the audience, it's usually 